Yo, well, hi guys, Kevin here. Welcome to another video. This could be more of an information video, informative, that's what I meant. Uh, basically, a lot of people have been asking what my wheel settings are for a set of Corsa. Um, this may work on other wheels, it may not, but I'm using the Thrustmaster TX wheel. Um, it may work on other Thrustmasters, it may work on um, like another make of wheel, but it, try at your own risk because. Well, you don't have the same options. So first things first, do not open set of course. I've just got it up just for a background, you know. Um, but what you want to do is head on over, um, find your Frostmaster app, which is no longer here. <laughs> I've only got that sick. Well, this has gone well, hasn't it? Okay, here we go. Um, you got to find your Frostmaster. Um, controller um, and once you've got that it's basically on your start menu you just search for like Thrustmaster it comes up but my, for some reason mine wasn't coming up brain uh, absolute brain okay so on here um, you can go to properties and it brings up all these options okay so this is what I got it set at 900 degrees everything's the same here I didn't really change anything um, test forces we don't need that and this is the four settings. Um, overall strength of all forces 85%, constant 100, periodic 100, spr spring on 80, damper on 70, and auto center settings. You want it done by the game basically. Um, so that's the settings. Pause it if you need them. And once you've done that, okay, everything, open up a set of Corsa, and then we can head into um, the controls. Here we go. Um, on here you've got quite a few, they've added quite a few wheels onto here um, so just scroll down, find the Thrustmaster Thrustmaster uh, Thrustmaster I think I went to the T500 and I kind of changed it from there but if you guys want to just do it yourselves then that's up to you uh, so this is just your axis, so steering, so you just click on axis 1 turn your wheel on it, it basically, as you can see it's it's going when you turn the wheel so basically you click on it and you just pick your wheel basically um, shifters I haven't got any um, a shifter so I've just got buttons on here which you just click on give shift up and click the button and it, it does that um, I will be getting a shifter hopefully so hmm, we can assign those later uh, secondary this is all the other buttons if you have a keyboard nearby like I do here um, you can just assign all the buttons also for like glancing left and right you can assign a few buttons uh, like I have um, so just so you can look left and right when you come out the pits and stuff um, it makes it easier for everyone else and this is more the important one, force feedback I've got the gain on 70% filter 5% minimum force 5% uh, gamma 1 filter 0 speed sensitivity 0 curb effects 90% road effects 45 slip effects 20% um, and on the pedal settings we've got 1.5 and you want to combine it with keyboard input if you want to use the keyboard buttons as well which I do so there we go that is my settings right there what you want to do is enter your name for the save here and then save it just so you don't lose it and I'm just going to do that now because I think I did change some settings on here so just to make sure TX new there we go um, and this is my settings and once you've done that what you can do is head into the game uh, let's just let's just go onto that track um, basically once you're in the game there's also false feedback settings on each car as well uh, so I'll show you where those are just so you can adjust them if you think it's really heavy or you think it's really soft um, this is just like basic I've never changed my settings like I made these settings when I first got the wheel never changed it because I got used to it so what's what, what is the need to change it um, so let's just jump into here if you come to the right hand side where you've got all these options there is a force feedback one somewhere here we go force feedback controller um, I've got mine on 112 um, but basically change it if it feels really heavy go down to like 80 and then see how that feels because um, at the moment I've got no clutch on here so I need to whip this car quite hard um, so yeah, I don't think they're recorded pretty well because I'm recording desktop. So sorry if that didn't come out very well. Uh, but yeah, 
that's my settings hope you guys enjoyed it if you did give it a thumbs up and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video